Hello, 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 and welcome back. It's been a while, but it's good to be back, and I apologise for the fact it's been such a long time since I last made a video. Now this is a new series that I'm doing, uh, called Fun Runs. It's basically where I take a game, or a level, or something I find uh, fun, enjoyable, and I play it. Not necessarily the way it's supposed to be played, um, but the way I like to play it, and the way that's fun. So here we're in uh, level, part of my favourite level of all Call of Duties, Charlie and Surf. And as I have all the intel, this is the way I used to uh, enjoy playing it when I played the level hundreds of times. I put it in Recruit Difficulty, uh, Infinite Ammo, A Bad Year, Cluster Bombs, and I play in a sort of speed run with pistols, shotguns, and the occasional RPG. Now, this may not be, you know, people might be saying, oh, playing it recruit, what a scrub, oh, grrr, angriness is, angriness is. But, you know, uh, when I first played this, I didn't have uh, Xbox Live. This is, obviously, this is on PC, um, but when I first got it, I had it on Xbox. Um, and so, I used to just play this a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. Um, and this is just one of the things that I found to be a fun way to play through games. Um, not a challenge, but it makes you feel like an ultimate badass when you're just running through, pwning ass, and they burst into tires. Eat tires, eat tires. So, whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's something really satisfying about it. Um, I love Call of Duty 4. Possibly the best Call of Duty, some might say. Um, possibly not, others might say, but you know, who cares? It's fun. Like a lot of games, it's fun. And this series is all about playing the games purely just for the fun. Um, this is really not difficult to do, um, but it provided me with a lot of fun when I used to play this game. And let's get rid of that car. Basically, it just makes you stupidly, like, ridiculously overpowered. Um, which, you know, which is a lot of fun. Everyone likes being overpowered, occasionally. Um, makes you feel Rambo. And that's cool. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. That guy, like, kills me way too much when I play through this. Because um, I run straight in and I forget about him. And then he clonks me on the back of the head with a AK-47. Oh, and you. Let's not forget you. Right, we'll ignore that guy. Now, the key to this bit, without dying, is to take him out or as quick as you can, and then get out of the way of that bleeding truck, whip your pistol out, take out these fools, because they will cause you hassle. And then you run, and before these guys at the end of the, the road start to spawn, you get up here and you clean out the roof. Uh, that's a dead body. Then we get the cluster bombs into effect, and we lob as many as we can. Now cluster bombs is an awesome cheat, it basically turns any grenade you threw into ten, and you get effects like that, and everything dies, and it's really, really morbidly satisfying. Um, but it also means that, well, I've found the side effect of this being, um, I die a lot from killing myself. Unintentionally, um, but I, I like run into my own grenades a lot more than I should. Now normally here you'd plant claymores and whatnot for a bit later on if you're really prepared um, which is a good idea if you're playing it but not if you're playing it how I like to play it. Uh, let's get rid of these windows just while my team stacks up because I'm ready to go in already. That's the only problem with this is you have to do a lot of waiting for your team because you're normally steps ahead of them. I wish you could blast doors open like that. I mean, not with like a cutscene or the breaching charge you do in uh, later Call of Duties. But I wish you could, you know, just shoot doors off their hinges uh, in this game. Right, let's go and let them know we're here. Run through. Wait for him to turn up. Whoops, missed. Bam. Bam, and there'll be two guys. Oh, he's already here. Flipping heck. Woo. Was not expecting him. Let's go kill this fella. Oh, he's already been taken cover. Now, this room. It's all about running to the other side of it as quick as you can. Now this is a really good tactic if you're trying to beat this level on Expert because this is probably the room that will stump you or will trip you up uh, because you get a lot of enemies spawning in here 
I just changed guns. What did I do that for? Did I change guns? No, I didn't change guns. Ah, there we go. Killed by my cluster bombs. Ah, I said I do that a lot. Um, but yeah, run. damn it, I've been caught up by my team, which is a problem. You want to stay away from your team as much as possible in this this one. Is if you can get to this side uh, as quickly as you can uh, when playing it on expert, uh, and you'll do it a lot quicker because they'll start spawning from other doors, but you'll be in this area and you can safely sort of scope them through. If you're going slowly, uh, it, you get the feeling. I get well. I get the feeling that they they don't stop spawning really. They just keep going, and this way your team will start to work towards you, um, as I've just shown here. Uh, obviously, I'm playing on recruit, so it's ridiculously easy. But if you were doing it on on expert, that's a good a good a uh, good tip. Uh, see, I'm not I'm not totally noobish. I'm not totally useless. Um, now this bit this bit is a lot of fun. Get the RPG, and you'll realise why you don't do claymores if you're playing it my way. Infinite ammo basically turns the rocket launcher into an assault weapon. <laughs> you could do it slowly. Or you could zoom in prior and just You can't see anything that goes on, but you feel like such a badass. And it's just a lot of fun, which is what this series is all about, really. About having fun, about kicking ass. Um, when your team starts to run through, that means you've you've killed enough. Um, once again, you can run in front of them, because, let's be honest, you're the player. You're more important. Uh, run through here, and we come to the next section... Uh, of waiting for your team and another section where you want to be the badass like, look a door like this you should be able to just boom boom just like they do and then like kick it or something and boost it through if you live watching this Activision please that will just be awesome I like to do that you, you know you can you don't have to do it in this level this is just my personal favorite level but you can put these settings on in any level and it's a lot of fun uh, personally, once I've completed the game, I like to run through levels with a shotgun on recruit because it just makes you feel so freaking hard. Just also, yeah, it must might be worth noting if you destroy all the TVs in the whole level, not just this room, with Alassad on it, you get a little get a little achievement. I've already done it, so that won't work and haven't done the ones earlier in the level. But anyway, Charlie and Surf, my way. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Turn that